One and two. No. Like it's gonna explode now. Oh, what I tell you? What I tell you? I 100% blame you guys for the destruction of my bike. Nobody else in the world. You guys. I thought putting coke on my tires was was enough. I thought that was enough, and I, uh, I guess not. You guys asked for this, so a while ago I put coke on my tires to see if it will make them stickier. This is ridiculous. I'm not even sliding down that. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. And I got a lot of comments on that video saying I should fill up my tires with coke. And, and I was like, what the fuck? What? You guys are on a way different level than me because I was thinking through it in my head. I'm like, this will just turn out like the water video. What's the point of doing it? The outcome will be the same. The more I thought about it and the more research I did, this is actually a pretty wild experiment. So there's a couple things. First of all, I was doing some research and I found out that Call. coke dissolves rubber just a little bit after a long period of time Caulk dissolves rubber now I'm not sure if you guys can tell but these tires have been reaching their last life ever since I put coke on it Like they were never this bald beforehand So that's number one number two when you mix up any type of soda or, or pop wherever you live wherever you call it It obviously has a fizz it, it bubbles up it releases carbon dioxide if you want to get scientific So when it releases carbon dioxide in the tube itself it will have a lot of air, extra air in the tire because the carbon dioxide is getting released from the actual liquid. So the more research I did about this experiment, the more I wanted to do it. So without further ado, we're going to get started into this experiment and we're going to start filling up my back tire with Coke. So I'm going to try to refrain from using the word either soda or pop because it's different everywhere. So we have Coca-Cola, one. And two. So to do this experiment, we have a siphon pump. This is the same exact siphon pump I used in the last videos. The one that was filled with oobleck, water, I think that's it. Anyways, this is the same siphon pump I've used and in the oobleck video, it looked like it broke and actually I rinsed it out. I actually took apart the whole entire thing and I fixed it up, so uh, plus for that. Oh, sh still, still spewing. A couple things. I don't want the coke to be flat when it goes into the tube, so we're going to pump it up very, very, very slow. And then second of all, we're not going to do much riding in the skate park itself because if it pops in the skate park, I'm going to feel like a total bag for having just coke everywhere. So without further ado, if you guys happen to be new to this channel, then I recommend to go on below and press subscribe. You guys clicked on this video for an experiment and we do a whole lot of those on this channel. So click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post a crazy experiment like this or honestly, any video in general. So no more wasting time. We're gonna take all the air out of this tire and just start filling it up with coke and we're going to uh, see what happens. So leave a prediction down below in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen because it's all up for games. So now all the air is out. Now it's time for the long, brutal, slow process of putting the coke in. It's about 10 minutes later and we got about a liter of coke in it, so uh, we're making progress. So we were able to compact about two liters of coke actually inside of it and it, it feels pretty dialed and strong. Like that's me pushing as hard as I can and compared to the front, to the back, if, I, if this was like an air PSI type thing, this is about like 40 PSI if I were to give or take. This is at 80, so. This is the second Coke experiment we did on the channel. Hopefully the last one because Coke gets everywhere and it's disgusting and sticky. So in comparison with the water video, I didn't pump this up as much as I did with the water because like I said, I want the carbon dioxide of it to actually have some lenience and way to uh, pump up that tube a little bit. So like I said, I have no idea if this is going to work. The one way that we are going to be able to tell if it works is that right after we're done riding it, if it increases in pressure and it gets harder to push and squeeze and all that fun stuff. Other way we'll be able to tell is if we lift the tube upside down just like this and we have the valve up top because gas always rises up to the top, Luke is on the bottom, and then we squeeze the uh, valve. I'm not going to do it right now because there's going to be coke everywhere. And it just depends how much gas is actually built up after we're uh, done shredding this thing. You're, you're wondering what I put into it? Yeah. I put coke into it. Carbon dioxide releases from coke. Okay. So the plan is to have a lot of carbon dioxide build up inside of that, that tube when we're riding it. So then afterwards, the tube will explode. What do you think is going to happen? I think they're just going to get like bigger, I guess, because of the carbonation. Do you think the tube's going to explode from it? Potentially. It's Post Malone in the flesh. <laughs> Hello. All right, well, so what do you think is gonna happen to the uh, the nice tube here? I filled it up with Coke. Now the prediction is that it's gonna be shaken up so much carbon dioxide build up from the Coke. It's gonna pop the tube. Yeah, probably. You think so? Carbonation will get too big. Carbonation, well. exactly. All right, all right, so everybody feel the tube to confirm that it is squishy right now. So then after we're done riding, if it oh, gets yeah. harder. Yeah. So it's a little squishy. All right, Post Malone, I might guide you with the duties of filming. Oh, dude, this is like the water in the tube. This is so hard to do. 
left it on. Let's see how it goes. Cheeky little bar spin. This is sketchy. Three. That's awesome. Okay. Yo, what the? I think it's losing pressure. Hold up, you may have to feel this, Will. I think it's losing pressure. It's about the same. I think it's the same? About the same, yeah. So All I right. squish it into about the rim last time. Oh, dude, or maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so it was like full of, it's full of soda. So right here felt squishier. And now it feels less because there's more carbon dioxide or carbonation in there. That's exactly what the water bike felt like. If you try oh, my bike, you nice have to send it. That's the rule. Yo. Ooh. Now the true test. I can't tell. I think it is a little bit. Not really getting the results I want, so I'm gonna actually take another liter, or actually two liters of Coke, and I'm gonna put these two liters into the tube, and we're gonna try to explode this thing once and for all. We will explode this tube. No. Oh, I broke. She can't take anymore. We almost packed four liters of Coke into this tube right now. Like, there's four liters in that right now. Uh, like, it's gonna explode now. Yeah. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Jeez, dude. It looks like you're just normally riding. That's like what it looks like. It's hard, though. Is it's it like hard? a lot of muscling. Oh, wow. Are you, dude, that's way heavier than the water. Are you serious? That's lighter than the water for me. That's lighter? Yeah, honestly. Damn, dude, what, you been hitting the gym or something? Maybe. Yo! Manuals are probably easier because they lock you into place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it gaining pressure? Is it? Oh, yeah. I think so. It's either that thing's gonna explode or it's just gonna go to like a large pressurized number. How high do you think you can hop on that? Try to hop as high as you can go. Yeah. And then switch to your bike. As high as you can go, Lucas. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. Oh yeah. You guys got like a foot higher on both of your bikes. We're gonna try to pop this tube. You get it? Like soda pop. Oh, dude, it carries you. It's just like... Yeah, it pulls you back. It's like Jesus take the wheel. Come on, you already know we do bar spins first try here. Oh my god. Let's see 180B. Don't be a can go, dude. You won't. One try. Two tries. One try. Two tries. Don't you be know a how it feels. Oh my goodness, dude. Do it again. One more. For Ariana Grande. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. It floats the bar spit into your hand though. Yeah. Alright, now now I think we should uh should give us some abuse. This thing's stronger than I thought. Oh my god. Oh that sound good. What was that sound? I don't know. We're gonna cut that out. That sounded like a crack, dude. Yeah, did it? Good. Dude, that was definitely a crack off I'm something. Not, I'm like having a bike mechanic. Wherever that came from did not sound good though. I'll say that. So I think it's pretty clear this thing is not going to pop, but it is under a lot of pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, this pump right here, this bad boy right here, and we're going to actually read the PSI. Like I said earlier, the gas is going to be on top. So we're going to flip it over and see what PSI that uh, carbon dioxide is at. It's above 80 PSI. That's crazy. It's above 80. It's in it. Oh, dude. It's in there. It's in there. Holy fuck. That's a lot of carbonation. All right, yep, we're reaching it. So there's 100% a lot of carbonation in that tire. I think literally half of it was carbonation and half of it was cola. So the only next thing to do is try to get all this Coca-Cola out. 
I don't know how we're gonna do it though. And I would just replace the tube, but I actually forgot a tube. So we're just gonna take out all the coke because I don't feel like driving all the way back and getting a tube. You won't drink it. You won't drink it. You won't drink it down to the label. I'll take a swig. I'll you see won't. how carbonated it is. You won't. I might yak after this. You will not. Just think of all the oo black and all the other shit. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Swallow it. I tried, dude. You it's, it's flatter than Ariana Grande's ass. Yo, she got a little booty, bro. Okay, never mind. Hey, don't it's be hating. Than Betty White. Don't be hating. Than Betty White. Don't be hating on Ariana Grande. Dude, that tastes like straight rubber. So now that's done over with, I'm gonna strap up the GoPro, hop on my bike. And we're gonna get a quick little session going before I have to head out of here. So obviously insert that GoPro footage right here. So before anybody asks questions, we didn't ride it in the skate park because if it potentially popped in the skate park, there would just be coke everywhere and we don't really have a way of cleaning it, so. All right, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to get because my bike, something's broken on it really bad. So that crack you guys heard earlier, something definitely broke. I just can't figure out what it is just yet. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little GoPro session because uh, my bike's halfway broken. There's something really broken on it. I'll have to figure out later. But I have to bring Will home because Will here. Tell him what happened. Um, my leg went behind me because I went into a manual and looped out. So basically, your legs. Yeah, right now. So I'm gonna bring him home really quickly and uh, see you guys after that. So we just dropped off Post Malone. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. But I'm back at the skate park and uh, just gonna get into some shenanigans. I think a couple homies are coming over here to ride. So I definitely gonna get some clips of that. I wanna see some glasses. Oh yeah. So quite a bit of people actually just rolled up to the skate park and really quickly before I hop in there and film a dope set of everybody riding. There's the Miata. So the coke in the tube. Honestly, I count this as a mission success. Although we weren't able to really explode the tire, we were able to really prove the fact that even when it's in the tire and tube and it shakes up a lot, it definitely gets a lot of pressure. So with that, I'm pretty happy with the results that we got. So if you guys seem to enjoy this video thus far, please go down below, leave a fat like, fat subscribe, and also leave a fat notification bell ring for ya boy. So with that, that's gonna conclude the uh, coke and tube portion of this video now. Just a normal day. And a gnarly skate park session, so let's get it. Alrighty guys, so it's actually a few hours later and I completely forgot to film an outro. Actually, I just forgot to film in general. So anyways, it's it's a few hours later, as you guys could tell, it's uh, pitch black out there. And uh, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night with my girlfriend. Nothing really too fancy or special. So with that, I'm just gonna cap off the video right here because I don't wanna bore you guys to death with a whole bunch of girlfriend things because I think you guys know how that goes. So with all that, that's going to conclude this video. If you guys seem to enjoy it thus far, then I recommend it go down below. Leave a fat like, fat subscribe for your boy. And with that, I can't believe this actually kind of worked. This experiment kind of worked. I'm not gonna say it did or didn't, it kind of worked. So with all the shenanigans set aside, I just really wanna quickly apologize for the outcome of this video. I know it wasn't really scripted that well and uh, really played out that well, let's just say that. But we did have a lot of fun filming this one and definitely will be keen on the next filling video because it's going to be intense. So with that, share with the friends, share the homies, share the dogs, share the cats, share the friends, hot mom, share it with your Uncle Bethany and also share it with your neighborhood Elsa and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.